Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to compute some basic statistics in R. So let's take first of all take a look at some data and we're going to conduct some statistical analysis on these data. On line 3 in my, on my um, R script up here, I have read into a vector called oil uh, and using the combined function I've read in 12 values and these are the prices in dollars of a barrel of oil over a 12 month period. This goes back to the year 2018. In line 4 and line 5, I have the prices in dollars uh, per ounce of gold over the same 12-month period. So let me run those two lines to read my data in. And we can see over in the Global Environment tab on the top right-hand side here that my values for the vectors gold and oil are numeric values, and you can see that the values are displayed in here. So we have su successfully um, read in our data. Now suppose we want to um, perform some basic statistical calculations on this. So I'm going to uh, indicate it here in the comment. I'm going to calculate the mean, the median, the standard deviation, variance, and get a correlation coefficient for each of the vectors. The correlation coefficient will see if there's a correlation between the price of oil and the price of gold. So first of all, let's start out. So well, let's calculate the mean for oil. And that's a simple enough function, it's called mean. And type in the oil variable and, so, and run that. And that tells me that the mean value for the oil, for the 12 values of, uh, that are in the oil vector, the mean value in the console, we can see it's 51.5. Uh, now let's do the median, and the word median is used here, so very straightforward so far. Uh, run this, and we can see that the median is also 51.5. The median, of course, is the, the middle value if you uh, sequence them from the highest to the lowest. Uh, in our case, we have an even number here, so it's going to uh, take the average of the two middle values. Our next um, um, statistic that we want to calculate is the standard deviation of the oil. Now, the name of the function here is quite simple. It's just SD for standard deviation. And again, just type in oil and run that, and we will get the standard deviation is 3.089. So that's $3.089. The variance, uh, again, we use an abbreviation here. It's called VAR, the VAR price for oil. Run that. We can see that the variance is 9.545. And finally, let's uh, get the correlation coefficient uh, to see if there's a correlation between oil and gold. So the function name here is very short abbreviation as well. It's cor, opening bracket. I'm going to type in oil, comma, and gold. So let me run that. And we can see that the uh, it's a negative correlation. Uh, the correlation coefficient is minus 0 0.171. When we use the correlation uh, car function like this, uh, the default correlation coefficient that's being calculated is Pearson's correlation coefficient. So we can see that the value is quite close to zero, and it might be surprising to you that there is an, um, almost no correlation, or, or at best a very weak correlation between the price of old and gold and the price of oil. Now let's do the same very quickly for the for the gold. So what's the mean value for gold? So I'm going to run line 15. So the mean value for gold is $1,243.833. The median is of gold is, run that, the median is 1242. Standard deviation for uh, the price of gold. Uh, SD, the function again, and gold this time, run. We can see that the standard deviation is $40.860. Uh, let's calculate the var variance, var. It's a function we used here, and type in gold. So the variance of gold is 1,669. And um, we've already calculated the correlation coefficient, but here, let's do it the other way around. So let's do the use a car function and put in gold first, and then oil second. We should and will get the um, exact same correlation coefficient minus 0 0.171 that we got previously. So there are several other statistical functions, but this will get you started on some of the more common statistical functions when you want to quickly find out things like what's the mean value, also called the average value, the median, a very important statistic, uh, standard deviation, really, really important. And quite often you'll be looking for relationships in data and the correlation coefficient using the car function will be very useful for you there. So that's how you conduct some basic statistics in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.